hello there and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be trying out some makeup that i got from aliexpress i do apologize for my um very casual kind of overdressedness today but it's absolutely freezing and usually i like to put on like a cute little top or something but today I was just so cold I've got my thermal top on underneath I've got my headband I've got this on it's just so cold guys so I really really hope you don't mind and I know that you won't so yeah I'm not going to talk about it anymore because I know like you don't care really so today as I said we're going to be trying out some makeup that I got from like AliExpress Ali I'm talking faster than my mouth can actually move but we're going to be trying out the concealer foundation this is by the Kimuse brand we're also going to be trying out the marbleized eyeshadow by Han Diane this looks extremely intriguing you can see that it looks marbleized it looks duochrome it looks like there is a lot going on inside this tube I feel like this is definitely kind of a dupe of the Steeler. I don't know if they're called the Marbleized Eyeshadows, but I'll pop up a picture here so that you can see if if you don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I definitely feel like Han Diane has kind of jumped on that Marbleized train and it's going toot toot and they're just on board saying, hey guys, we're going to do our own Marbleized Eyeshadows and the train is just like, oh, I don't fucking care, whatever. Anyway, we're going to be trying this out and I hope it's really, really good. Oh my gosh, I'm just thinking like this couldn't, maybe be a testing out hand diane makeup video if i didn't have a Camus foundation because three of the four products are by hand diane but um this is like the hand diane gang the hand diane threesome so we're going to be trying out the hand diane uh, mascara i have tried out one of these before basically they have a whole line of colored mascaras and in my opinion i feel like these are, are specifically lower lash mascaras because they have such small narrow ones this one i believe is just in the shade black i don't know why i went for the shade black i had a whole range of shades to go for i went for black and forest green I don't know why I did, but anyway, I'm going to be popping this on the bottom lashes. It's, honestly, this is not really a first impression because I've tried the forest green one and I really, really liked it. It went on really nicely. It looked good. It didn't smudge or do anything criminal. I don't know. It, it just was really, really good. So I liked it. And the final product that we're going to be trying out today is, as you know, by Hand Eye And there's no surprise there. How are you doing today? I'm doing Hand Eye And. Thank you. I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, so this is a cute little heart highlighter. Um, I'm sure that I may have kind of tried this in the past. I feel like I've got to that point in my AliExpress career at this point where I kind of feel like I've, I've kind of tried everything everything really um but uh yeah i don't know and i may have tried it i may not have done but i'm going to try it again today and i also thought that this would really really complement the kind of lilac-y kind of purple shades that we've got in the liquid eyeshadow so we're doing it guys we are doing it do you know what i actually feel like i'm warming up that's the power of makeup guys like just just the thought of putting on makeup is making me feel warm so i'm going to take off my hoodie i'm still going to keep my thermal top on though like i really hope you don't mind i feel like i should maybe like create a whole new channel called thermal clothing reviews by Anwen or something because i just i love a good thermal so first we are going to try out the concealer foundation i did do a little bit of a search um online because i wanted to just give you like a bit of info because there there isn't any info you know on the actual bottle itself it's redundant of info and it, it didn't it, it i think it may have come in a box but i threw away the box so this foundation cost me one pound ninety it's available in 10 shades which i feel like that's the most shades i've ever seen in any foundation from aliexpress and the shades on this picture which i took a screenshot of the shades actually don't look too bad at all and um, the shade that i've got is one n one ivory nude this one which is the third lightest so i'm hoping that that is going to be the right shade for me and for once as well in the description like off this product on aliexpress i do feel like they've really like you know they've 
they've done well with including important info you know to kind of guide you in your purchase to help you decide which shade to get because usually i find that on aliexpress like when you're picking a foundation or any product really there really is a lack of guidance information like detail specifications there's just not much there to really help you in making a decision like which one to get but this one like this is like the first time i've ever really seen a like just a swatches like swatches stuff things you know and i really really like that it's meant to cover the flaws on your face and give you a clean face i don't really rely on my foundation to give me a clean face i rely on washing my face for that but okay the lightweight water-based formula sinks into skin instantly helping to plump moisturize and boost skin's glow i don't want to be like cr too critical but whenever i hear the phrase water-based formula sinks into skin i always just think oh my gosh my pores they're going to be visible from space this product has an isolated effect to prevent external external contaminants from damaging the skin and keeping the skin in a clean environment could this foundation single-handedly beat the coronavirus could it stop it i don't know maybe people are going in the wrong direction by using hand sanitizer when they could just use this all over their person the product has oil control effect which can remove excess oil from the face and shrink pores shrink pores could it this liquid foundation has a good waterproof effect so that the makeup effects can be effectively oh they use the word effect quite a lot in that last paragraph um so they're saying that it can be like worn for 24 hours so do you know what i never trust a foundation that claims to be suitable for all skin types because i just don't think there is such a thing that's kind of like saying there is a man to suit all women and i just don't think there's such a thing because we all want different things you know and we're just going to begin i'm going to give her a little shake she does sound quite watery honestly okay so we've got a little like what do you call this like a squeezy bottle with a nib at the top it kind of looks like you know the uh is it dior or mac or both i don't know but anyway i'm just gonna pop a little bit on my hand this is what she looks like she's quite runny quite liquidy what do you expect from a liquid foundation i just don't know okay so we're just gonna go ahead we're gonna begin the application oh she is quite light but then i did go ahead and use a moisturizer yesterday that had like a hint of you know like self tanner in it so i like my face is a little bit more tan than usual do you know what this has a lot more coverage than i was expecting i thought this was gonna be like a super light kind of almost like bb slash tinted moisturizer level of coverage but it actually looks like really quite good like i'd say like a medium which i was not expecting i have combination skin i used to have oily skin then i had dry skin and now my skin has settled on combination basically my skin just has no idea who it is it just doesn't know it's still trying to find itself i definitely say that i have a combo skin can you see how well the foundation has covered up the little veins you know my eyelids because look over here like you can see them all but then with just a little bit of this foundation it really has covered them all up which is wonderful Do you know i really like the camuse brand i've tried a few of their products recently and for the most part i've been really really impressed I just feel like there's some brands on AliExpress where you know the product's going to be shit. Pop feel, I'm looking at you. But then there's other brands which, you know, they really make an effort with their packaging and the product is really, really high quality. You can be, Camuse, O2O, Hold Live. You know, there's so many of them. I wish more people knew about AliExpress. 
I feel like people probably think, oh my gosh, AliExpress, it's just like cheap ass makeup. And yes, there, there is quite a lot of cheap ass makeup on there that isn't good, but there's also a lot of cheap ass makeup that is actually really, really good. Okay, so I have done this one side of my face and I am really, really liking the look of this foundation so far. It went on really, really easily. I only needed a tiny amount. Like I've still got quite a bit on my hand. Um, the only thing is I've just noticed it does look to be oxidizing quite a bit. If I just pop a little bit out of the bottle, what do you think? Yeah, it definitely looks lighter, fresh out of the bottle. It's kind of taken on like an orange tone over here, which is a little bit worrying, but I mean, on my face, I think it's looking good. Although now I'm just like a bit paranoid that my face is going orange, but anyway, it's looking okay around my nose, although I do have significant pores. So I do find on every single foundation that I that I wear you can always kind of see my pores and I didn't wear a pore filling primer today because I really wanted just to put this foundation on over you know kind of bare skin to really be able to test it out I feel like it's kind of cheating you know to, to wear a primer when you're trying out a foundation for the first time because of course a primer is gonna make the foundation perform and look better and not all of us will wear the same primer so I just feel like it's kind of setting up the stage fraudulently. I'm really liking the look of this so far. It feels comfortable as well. It actually feels quite moisturizing and hydrating. So I'm kind of liking that. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna do my other side. I'm just gonna pop a little bit more on my hand. Okay, so I have done my entire face. I'm really loving the look of this. I think it's just kind of made my face look really kind of healthy, fresh, glowy. I love the dewiness that we've got going on. I think it looks really good up close as well. It definitely provided so much more coverage than I was expecting. I would definitely say this is a really good medium, if not heading towards full coverage. I can already see though that I think I'm gonna have issues with this foundation because already I feel like it, well, do you know what? I need to set it actually before criticizing it. But yeah, I do feel like, you know, just around my chin, potentially like it does look a little bit heavy. It's kind of accentuating the texture that I've got there. I do feel like, you know, it has kind of highlighted my pores somewhat, but I'm not really too asked about that because I feel like you can only really like see pores if you're like, you know, like this close. But if I'm like back here, you can't really see them. And with most of the conversations I have with people, you know, I'm back here. I'm not like right up in people's faces. So pores, who cares? Like really, who cares? And do you know what? I feel like, you know, a problem or an insecurity or something, it's only really like a problem to you because the majority of people, they can't see that massive spot that you've got on your chin or they can't see the pores that you have on your nose or they can't see that you slightly messed up your left eyebrow. Do you know what I mean? People don't really care. I blame mirrors. I think if we didn't have mirrors, we wouldn't have this problem. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, so I'm gonna just go ahead. I'm gonna set my face before this goes badly wrong, honestly. So I'm at the age now, you know, I've got wrinkles, fine lines, I need to set my face. Look at these smile lines, they're dying to come out. Like this foundation, dying to sink into my smile lines. So yeah, I'm just gonna use the color icon bronzer. This is like a bronzer, not a bronzer. Bronzer, I use this as a setting powder. It's in the shade Reserve Your Cabana. This is a really, really good setting powder. So anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna just tap over my smile lines just in case any foundation has settled in there. And I'm just gonna set with powder. I really wanna give this foundation the best possible chance of impressing us today. So I prefer setting my face with a tiny brush and I like to just 
focus the setting powder in the areas that I need it most. I always find that if I go in with like a massive big uh, brush to set my face, my face always feels like really, really dry. So the less powder I can put on my face, the better, the better. All right, I'm just going to tap out those areas where the foundation has settled into my face. I'm just going to go over it, go over it with powder, go over, go over, okay, okay. Mm. And now I'm just going to dust a little bit in my contour zone just to help me contour. Still feeling really, really good about the foundation. I just... I just have a little bit of like an instinct, a makeup instinct, that it may not stand the test of time with me. I'm just, I'm already not really liking my pores, my chin. Like, do you know what? My face is fine if I just keep it still like this. But watch this, guys. Watch this. Oh, can you see how badly this foundation just accentuates everything? Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. Anyway, guys, I'm going to keep open-minded and we're going to move on to the next product, which is going to be the Hand Diane Marbleized Eyeshadow. Um, but actually, I've just realised that before I pop this on, I do just want to do a little bit of something-something, you know, around my crease because I don't want to just put like a liquid eyeshadow on my lid. I want to have some action going on in my crease. So I'm going to use the Beauty Glaze Reversal Eyeshadow Palette. I don't know why I insist on holding it this awkwardly, but that's just me. This is like my absolute favorite eyeshadow palette from AliExpress at the moment. It's so gorgeous. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to use this shade here, which is called Scarlet. I'm just going to kind of pop that in my crease and then we're going to go in with the hand I am. Okay, so I've gone ahead, I've just put that beautiful shade all around my eyes. I've gone for quite a grungy, just kind of blown out look. So we're now ready to go in with the hand eye. And so it comes in this little tube. We have a double-sided fluffy doe foot. And as you can see on the tip, we have lots of different shades going on. We've got purple, silver, blue, green, I can kind of see little glitters in there as well. I'll just do a little swatch on my on my hand. So it kind of looks a little bit sheer, but then you can definitely see the glitter. It looks glossy, it looks wet. The shades within this remain separated. Like I'm sure that you could definitely kind of mix them up together. And when you do it, it creates more of like a purple silvery tone or i suppose if you wanted you could not mix them up together and just have like a proper marbleized effect i think that's the only flaw in this though the majority of people i think would end up kind of finessing it so that it wouldn't retain that same you know like the marbleized look that it has in the tube on their lid but i don't know i'm a bit warm now i'm going to take off my headband do you know what? Next I'll be taking off my thermals and we'll be like, oh my gosh, I'm going to grab my mirror and we're just going to apply. Yeah, I can definitely see lots of micro glitters in here and it does definitely look very sheer, you know, on the lid, like when it catches the light, it looks absolutely gorgeous. It kind of looks like a galaxy because you've got those twinkling stars and you've got the the sheen it looks really beautiful um but it, it's quite sheer and i wish that i put like a shade on underneath honestly it could have acted as a topper but i didn't so i'm now living a life of regret okay as the case with pretty much like every single liquid eyeshadow I've ever used. This is super easy to apply. It's great because there's no blending. You just kind of pop it on and Bob's your uncle. There we go. Um, I could definitely see kind of, you know, a duochrome aspect to this. So in some lights, it looks 
more purple, in other lights, I can see like green, silvery glitters. Uh, so I, yeah, it's a very interesting kind of visual. There's a lot going on. I kind of like it, guys. I kind of like it. I think I just wish that it was more opaque, you know, but then, sorry, I've just got like a dry mouth. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna, instead of just like persevering, just give your lips a really good lick. And that's what I did. So I'm sorry about that awkward moment you had to witness. But she's sheer, but I think she's beautiful. So, okay, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna do the other side. True test of how good a liquid eyeshadow is, is how fast it dries down because no one wants to have a wet sticky lid and also how it lasts over time i will be coming back to you in a few hours because i'm gonna have this makeup on all day so i'll come back to you before i'm about to take it off and i can give you an update with the foundation with this you know how i kind of found it over time but i think this looks really good i think it looks really good I like it, guys. I mean, it's definitely what I expected it to be. I'm just not blown away because I don't know why. I feel like I should be blown away, but I'm not. But I don't know why. It's definitely exactly what I thought it would be. So I don't know why. I think it's because I'm hungry. I'm kind of hungry. I've not had any lunch today and I'm, I'm hungry. I think that's why. Because I think the product itself looks really good. But it started to feel a bit sticky. Um, okay, so whilst she is drying up, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do a little bit of bronzing. And then we're going to try out the beautiful, sweet, cute heart highlighter. Okay, just an update on my eyelids. They feel quite sticky. I th think they're still drying. But they do feel uh, really, really sticky. Mm, like not my favorite but anyway so i've bronzed contoured and i sprayed my face with setting spray so we're going to deep dive into the highlighter comes in this beautiful packaging it's absolutely tiny if i compare her to the hand diane you can see like she's so small but so perfectly formed oh my gosh look at that guys i mean i'm sure i've tried this before but oh she's so gorgeous like i didn't put blush on today because i just thought this could kind of act as a blush you know uh oh my gosh look at this do you know what i was just about to look in the mirror and then i realized oh my gosh i don't think i'd see anything in there because it's so tiny it's like a mirror for sylvanian families oh my gosh this is a really beautiful pink highlight I really, really like it. Can you see? Do you know what? I really, really like it. Yes, I do. She's kind of beautiful. I mean, you can't really see her when you're looking like face on, but then at the side. Oh, yes. I'm not going to go ahead and put her on my nose and like chin and forehead because she's quite pink. And I, I don't really want, or do I want a pink nose? No, I don't want to pick those. So I'm going to utilise one of my other highlighters for those areas. And I'm going to go with the Goal, the Goal by Focalior. And this is in the shade Nova Light. It's a beautiful icy peach. So I'm just going to pop. I'm just now thinking, do I want a peach nose? Do I want a peach nose? Mm, okay, I'm just going to pop it on anyway and worry about it later. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do my mascara and then we're going to finish off the look with the hand Diane on the lower lashes. As I said, I have tried this before, but I'm trying it again. Like, I'm just trying it. It's really good. Like, I, I recommend. I do recommend. Okay, so I've done my lips and my eyelashes. So we're going to try out and I, I feel kind of bad for saying that because I've tried it out before but we're going to pop the hand Diane mascara just on the lower lashes I know you may be asking the question well I mean why have you not put her on your top lashes it's because I know she would be shit up there she would I mean I think that you need different mascaras for the top and the bottom because on the top I want like a big thick girthy 
wand and on the bottom lashes I just want like the tiniest wand ever just so that I'm not getting mascara everywhere because I'm so messy uh, with my bottom lashes so okay here we go I got a bit on my eyeball there can you see that do you think I'm gonna go blind potentially there's always potential you know Okay, I think the only thing that's kind of missing from this look is I think I do need a blush. I really, really do. I think my face is really missing a blush right now. So I am going to go for the most pink, vibrant, pigmented blush I own, which is by NARS. This is the shade Desire. It's a super hot pink. And I just feel like that's what this look is calling for it's calling for right now so I'm just gonna pop a little bit up here can you see how it's kind of working with this highlighter it's just kind of emphasizing the pink okay I feel like I actually look alive right now so okay guys we have tried all of the makeup we had to try today so i'm going to be keeping this face on that sounded strange but i'm going to be keeping all of this on for the rest of the day i will come back to you once uh it gets late i don't know once i just want to take my makeup off and i can let you know how everything has performed over time but just at this point now i I think the foundation looks nice, although I'm still thinking it's emphasizing way too much texture. Can you see just around my chin? Um, I kind of like it from here up, but I don't like it down here. I like the look of the marbleized eyeshadow. However, it still feels sticky and, and moist. Like I don't really think it's dried down, so that's fecking me right off. And if it doesn't dry down soon, I'm gonna be really sad because I, I don't like having a wet sticky eyelid. I just don't think I deserve that. I think I'm a good person. I treat people kindly. I pay my council tax. I try to think of the other good things I do, but I'm good. I'm a good person. Like, just trust me, guys. Yeah, I don't deserve this sticky eyelid. I just don't. Anyway, I'm going to come back to you in a few hours and let you know what the real deal is. What's up? What's the scoop? What's the tea? We, we just don't know, but we're going to know soon. Like, you're going to know in a minute. So, I'll see you in a sec. Oh, my gosh. Guys, I am so sorry. And by the way, my face is so sticky. My I don't know if you saw that, but my hand, all, it was stuck to my face. But... Anyway, I just wanted to apologise because I actually filmed this video a while ago. But oddly enough, I'm wearing the same top, which... It says a lot about me, but I I did film a conclusion to this video and then I deleted it. Really, really sorry about that, but but I can tell you what my thoughts were because I remember them. I do. I don't remember a lot, but I remember my thoughts on this. I found deletion did not last well over time. It was definitely not very good at controlling my oils it also really really sank into my pores fine lines it just didn't look great in person for that reason i haven't worn the foundation since and i definitely will not be reaching for it again i, I just didn't like how it felt which was sticky oily and wet and i didn't like how it looked so yeah it was a really bad foundation honestly for me the hand iron eyeshadow i actually thought looked actually quite nice when i was editing this video i definitely think that i gave it a bit of a bad rap um for saying that it was kind of sheer and more of like a topper because i actually don't think that it was that sheer i think it looked really really kind of angelic and you know kind of just understated and eye-catching However, it refused to dry, leaving me with a wet, sticky eyelid. And as you probably know, Amwin does not 
do wet sticky eyelids. I don't do wet sticky anything, but definitely not eyelids. For that reason, I wouldn't recommend because I just think no one deserves to live life with a wet sticky eyelid. But on the foundation and on the hand and eyeshadow thing, I wouldn't recommend either, unfortunately. But I really, really like the highlight and I really, really like the mascara for my lower lashes. Not for the upper lashes. Shit on the upper lashes fantastic on the lower lashes so anyway guys i hope that you can forgive me for, like not forgetting because i did definitely film out the outro but i deleted it i miss it quick to delete apparently so i do really really apologize for that but anyway i hope that you enjoyed the video thank you as always for watching and i hope to see you in the next one bye